Hi. <laughs> I am Steve Montgomery, and I played as Sam Day. He is the son of Tim Weeks, and he is trying to figure out uh, what happened to his friend, Josh. Because I love acting. I love acting. Plus, I had a lot of confidence in Dallin Need. <laughs> Yeah, and, and it was true. It, I mean, we got a lot done, and uh, so I felt very confident about the project. Um, I, I just wanted to be a part of it. I didn't know, like, what, what I was going to do when I, when I wanted to, uh, that I was going to play as the main character. I did not know that. I learned so much. Everybody asks me that, and I don't know what to say. I really don't, because I learned, because I watched you. I watched Dallin. Okay, and he was very, can I just, I mean, I watched you and it was crazy. Like uh, all of the work that you had to do, um, pretty much the directing side, you know, if ever I were to be in your position, I feel like I maybe could do it, but uh, I don't know. It was tough. It was tough. I mean, you were, you were, you were everywhere, man. You were everywhere. So I learned that. Um, the one thing that I wish I learned was the uh, technical side things. I also um, learned how to... Um, I mean, we're always improving and um, improving my acting as well. I mean, I almost didn't want to go to the movie <laughs> because, I don't know, I was, I, I was shaking a little bit. I mean, had my girlfriend beside me and she was just like, will you stop? Like, because I, I like would slump down and like, I don't know, I, I just was such a critiquer of myself, you know, we're, we're our worst critics and so, um, so I mean, I always see things I can improve on and I learned to dress up warmer next time. <laughs> Bring warmer clothing. Well, if you could, had permission to. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, maybe like bring some like heater thing and like, cause I mean, we would go way out in the woods like that one time you were talking about where uh, we were all just, we were dying, getting frostbite. The snow's fine. I mean, like if you see the movie, like how the snow was just, I don't know, it was really cool. It was a really cool effect with it. So, I mean, and we all understood that too, you know, so whatever we were going to do for the film, we were, you know, we were willing to do it, you know, and I mean, I got sick twice and that was, that was fine. You know, I didn't, I was like, all right, I'm going to get better and let's just get back into this thing. So every day was just, it was exciting. It really was. Every day was exciting. It was tough sometimes, but it was exciting. Um, I found a joy just working with, with several people, you know, it was fun. Um, with all the actors, with all the other actors and getting to know them. Um, they're all really cool and really, really good actors. And um, uh, I don't know, it's just, uh, I, think, I think working with the kids was cool too. That was cool, like uh, cute kids. And then just seeing how they, how they acted with it. It was funny how they would give their inputs on, um, they're like, oh, I can do this scary thing. I can, I can hide here. You see this corner here, I can jump out. And we're always like, yeah, yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes we would do it, you know, but it was um, it was fun overall, honestly. So even freezing in the snow. Working with Omar, I really loved working with Omar, um, and that scene where we were in that cold house and uh, sitting at the table, and you know he was freaking out, and um, ah, yeah, just that whole that whole experience in the house there, because he was. Oh, he's such a good actor too, and like he's just got that face. He gets so serious, and and uh, yeah, I don't know when he's about to like cry almost or something, and he's freaking about freaking out about the past. Uh, oh, that was cool. Maybe he was um, just thinking about his life. He's like, I didn't have any parents, you know, growing up. I didn't, I didn't have any parents. I didn't, you know, I've been making my own life, you know, and. And just life can be unfair sometimes. And, uh, and so to have his best friend that he grew up with disappear and just having all this, this tough stuff happen, you know, the, the people that he cared about, it seems that were just disappearing from his life, you know. And so, you know, the, that kind of life where the people that you love are just, you know, disappearing, it sucks, you know, and that's, that, that becomes just a weight. Uh, for that person and so he was always thinking about it. Uh, Katie, his love interest, she kind of just reminded him of, of um, probably of his parents too, you know, like he didn't want to fall in love, maybe they'd, maybe, you know, they'd disappear or, or you know, like he didn't want to, 
he just didn't want to go down that avenue, it seemed like. And then, uh, you know, J.R., Kyle, I mean, like, he, you know, he reminded him all the time. He was almost this pest that was just, like, constantly, you know, um, reminding him that, hey, you know, I'm your friend, too, you know, but it's like, you're not, you're not Josh, though. You're not my best friend, you know. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know. He's such a downer all the time. So that's how I felt like after every shot that we do, I'm like, man, I like feel like I'm getting depressed, you know, like you get, you get like into that character so much too. You know? I'm excited for the future. I'm excited for the future. Um, this film was amazing. And I see so many things like when you learn, um, when you see all the things that you can do better, you know, it's tempting to not, you know, to not do it. You know, you, you, you see what you can do better. So you want to do it, you know for future films, so that's it.